Hey, good morning. So I've been asked um, for a while now to film a day in the life of a homeschool mom. So I figured I would give this a shot. Um, today's a pretty uh, normal day for us. I'm going to see if I can get this in today. Um, so we typically start our day uh, waking up around 7 a.m. It's, let's see, so it's uh, just after 6.30 now. Um, I generally start my day by letting the dog out and then um, the kids will normally get up about 7. Hope and Kaylin are pretty good about waking up to their own alarm, um, getting themselves out of bed, and then um, I get Alexa up between about 7 and 8 o'clock. It just depends on really what time she went to bed last night. So it's, like I said, it's six about 6, almost 6.40 now, so I'm going to get my day started. So here's Maverick. I'm getting ready to let him back in. One of the, one of the first things I do, like I said, is let the dog out um, in the morning, so I got him to let out. And then after that, it's pretty much just like any other normal day. I'm going to run upstairs. I'm going to get dressed, brush my teeth, comb my hair, and then start waking the kids up. Everybody is awake, dressed, teeth brushed, hair combed. Caitlin's got her bed made. She's just picking up her room. And um, let's go see Hope. Did you make your bed, Hope? Yeah. Hope? Hope got her bed made here. Her room's all picked up. So now we are going to head downstairs and get some breakfast. girls are all 
all done eating breakfast and we are just about ready to start our day. Let's go check the time. What time is it, Kaylin? It's currently 7.32. So it's almost 7.30. I'll show you guys here. So it's almost 7.30 now. Everybody's done, like I said, done eating breakfast and we're getting ready to start our day. I'm going to actually um, get them started and then I'm going to run upstairs and wake up Alexa. So the very first thing we do in our school day is we start with Pledge of Allegiance. So we're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance and then we'll come back to you guys. Alright, well I got the kids all started doing their English. I am going to run upstairs and wake the baby up now. It's because she does um, a lot of her school. She does a lot of the school day with us as well as she's super eager to learn. Um, and I'm keeping her on a schedule so she needs to be up in the morning with us as well. So we're going to go wake her up. She's not much of a morning person, but we got her up. You gonna wake up, darling? Her room is super. Let me open her windows. Her Rolladen's here, hold on. Her room is super messy right now, so I do apologize. Yeah, her room is super messy right now, guys, so I do apologize. We are gonna, we were gonna try to get to it last night and we just didn't, so we're gonna attempt to try to clean it at some point today. But again, we're gonna obviously do our schoolwork first, so we're gonna get her dressed. <laughs> is all dressed. You ready to get some food? Yes, I want marshmallow cereal. Marshmallow cereal? Alright. We are going to get Miss Alexa some marshmallow cereal. We can check in on Hope and Kaylin here and see what they're doing too. Let's go check in on them. Checked in on them. I'm glad to see they're getting their schoolwork done. I'm gonna get Alexa set up for some food. Get you some food. We'll comb your hair in a minute, okay? Alexa is finishing up her breakfast here now. Is that some good breakfast? I see you only pick the marshmallows out like normal. <laughs> you ready to start your school day? Yeah, we can do my school. Yeah, we can do schoolwork. I want the cover. Girls. She me I don't care. We don't put our hands on each other. All right, now that Alexa's got her breakfast done, we're gonna jump into school day part that involves her as well. We can, yeah, we can do your writing. Can we do our today is first? No. No, you don't want to start with your today is. We normally start doing, we start the day with her today is, and I'll show you. It's this chart here. We normally start with that. Do you want to do this? No. Tell everybody what day it is. 
I want to do coloring first. So she's been working. Um, we've been doing worksheets and stuff, but she, I forgot actually I had this book here. So she likes to do a couple pages in this in the morning too. Let's see where you left off. You did a lot yesterday. Okay, so today is the coloring. All right, let's show everybody what you're doing. All right, so we need some crayon coloring books. Some colors. All right, so this says color the heart red. You think you can color that heart red? You want to pick red out of the bin? I'm cold. You're cold? I got the heat on. No fans are on. I promise, no fans. Mm. Oh, yeah, pencil sharpener can stay. Do you want to find red? So then I want you to color the heart red and then color the carrot orange. So if you want to find red and orange, which of these colors are red and orange? Oh, there's an orange. Okay. Can you find a red? What color is that? Green. Yeah. Can you find red? That's good. Does it need to be sharpened? Nope. That's mahogany, but that's close enough to red. All right. So which one's your red one? I'm going to color your heart red or your carrot orange first. Which one are you going to do? I'm going to do the carrot. Okay. I'm going to color that carrot. Color it nice and slow, okay, so we stay inside the lines. So Alexa finished up her coloring. Well, she decided she was done at three. I don't really force anything. I just let it be what she wants to do. So now we are going to, the kids are still working on their English, and we are going to jump into Miss Alexa's flashcards we do every day. I was actually in the middle of grading one of Kaylin's tests, but we can set that aside really quick. We can do your flashcards. Do you want to do the letters, or do you want to do the numbers? We can do both. Which one do you want to do first? I the numbers. You want to do the numbers first? Okay. So we have these numbers flashcards that I just made. They're just on a little note no, cards and we do these every day and then we do letter ones as well so we do the letter sounds and then we do numbers right now we're working on 0 through 20 and then every couple of weeks I, I'll add more all right well, let, what sound does this make Good job what's this one You're so smart. Look how smart you are. Do you want to do your name now? Yeah. Or do you want to do our today is? You want to write your name? Okay. Yeah. All right, so Alexa is going to practice writing her name, which we do every day as well. You want to do it at your table? No. No, you want to do it at mommy's table? Yes. Okay, you can do it at mommy's table. Mommy, so Alexa has a couple binders I've put together that just has stuff in it she works on every day to practice her fine motor skills and her writing. So, you want to work on your name or some writing some letters? letters. Alright, so let's do some writing some letters. Get your marker. Alright, I'm going to finish grading. Miss Kaylin's assignment. Okay? Okay. Okay, you work on writing and I'm gonna grade. Here's my view of this online homeschool planner when I log in. So at the beginning of every day, it pops up this with a rescheduling assignment. So the girls log in with their account that I showed you earlier. And then 
they check off what they do throughout the day and if they forget to check something off or something doesn't get done then it pops up on my end in the every morning and um, then I can reschedule those assignments that's the biggest thing when I like this so it allows me to reschedule and I don't have to re change the whole schedule just because one thing wasn't done Daddy, you getting ready to go to work Bye, Dad. Bye, Bye Dad. <laughs> well, Dad's off to work. Whee! We're going to use this. So like I said, I use this rescheduling assignment. Um, give it a show you here. So then it just tells me, I go through here and I can say what I want to happen to each one of these items. Sometimes it's just a matter of the kids forgot to check something off. And so I just say, yep, that was done. And then if it wasn't, then I can just move that assignment forward. So I'm just going to knock out this, and then the next screen I see after this is the grades. So for anything that was done yesterday, then I can input the grades today for that. So then I'm going to input some grades. Um, Hope and Kaylin are still over here working on their English. Yep. It is now just after 8. It's 8.10. So they're still working on their English. They'll probably be doing English for another 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll jump into math. So, and Alexa's doing her writing, so she's going to work on this, they're doing their stuff, and I'm going to get on the computer here for a second just to update our grades and then check what we have to do for the rest of the day. So this is one of her binders. This one has uh, a lot of her writing letters, and then we have her pencil control workbook in here, and then kind of just a bunch of worksheets either I've created or found for her. Her name is in this one, and then she has an entirely another binder that we work in that has a bunch more writing and math and um, and everything I put in sheet protectors so that we can just use a dry erase marker and we use it every single day. And I don't have to reprint pages over and over and over again. So. When we do this binder, the very first thing we do in this binder, I'll show you here, is we have this numbers. And so we go through all of the numbers and we count from one to 50. So we do this, we try to do this every single day. It probably only gets done um, maybe three, three or four times a week, but we try to do it at least every single day. Once a day. We're gonna count, okay, ready? One, two, three, so it is about 8.20 now. She's finished her English. I'll show you. She's going to get on the computer here and do some typing. Kaylin is, she gets a little stumped when it comes to defining her vocab words. They take her a little bit longer. So she's still working on defining vocab words. So we do our reading and spelling le lesson a couple different ways. This is one of the ways that we work on them. We build words with her letters here and then we practice reading them. So, I think I can build a word you know. I need a better way of organizing these, but can you help me find a t Okay, let's put let's dump them out on my bed. Oh, there's a t Alright. Can you sound out that word right there? Can you read that one? Good job! High five! Now let's try a different one. Wait. So we have Matt. Now we're going to do our rhyming. At. Oh, sorry. At. What's that word? Sat. Sat! Good job! We try to do a sensory bin with Alexa at least once a week. Sometimes she does it a couple times a week, but we try to do it at least once a week. So she wanted to do sand today. So we are going to get the sand sensory stuff out and let her play in that. stalled out with math for hope in the current program we're using so we've ordered a different program and we're waiting for that one to arrive so while we wait for that one to arrive I'm no reason I don't find a reason to force her to do a program that isn't working for her 
We use the same program currently for both of them, and it works great for Kaylin, but not for Hope. They learn a little bit differently. So we're waiting for the new program to arrive for Hope. So while we do, um, I just found some online games and some little like um, lessons that she can just watch and kind of review stuff that she was kind of having some problems with while we wait for the new program to arrive. And most of that that she can do is on her computer. So we don't normally do math on the computer, but right now she's doing it on the computer just because we're waiting for the new curriculum to show up. So she was she started out the year doing pre-algebra and we were having some problems really understanding how to do variables. She was having a hard time really understanding how to do that. And so we're kind of we're backing up and we're going to re we're going to go back over to um, kind of the basic stuff to help her get a better um, start again while we wait for the new program to come. Alexa's doing great with potty training. She's using the potty like a big girl. And now we are going to do some more math. And some of the things we like to do in math with Alexa right now is no, we've been, we're we've been do doing... Painting. No, we're not painting. You don't want to do letter? You don't want to do your patterns? Yeah. How about we do some patterns and some matching? Yeah. Yeah. So what are the some of the things we've been working on lately with Alexa for math is we've been doing patterns and matching and counting and graphing. And we use these. Let me show can you. We, can we do ducks and stars? We can do ducks and stars, sure. So we use these numbers and counters. Well, as you can see, um, preschool with a three-year-old activities last about two minutes, <laughs> but that's okay. We hey, just mommy, do what I she wants to do. So, yep. So we're gonna do her. We're gonna use her trinkets now. It's just these little things here, and we're gonna use them to graph. She decided we're not gonna do graphing right now. We are going to play her muffin matchup game, and this one's pretty awesome. I found this game on Amazon. Um, it's pretty cool. It's kind of been beaten up from her playing with it when she was a little, a little younger. Since we've had this since the beginning of the school year, when she was only two, so it's a little beaten and battered, chewed on, but it still works. Oh, careful, careful. So this is normally, nope, it's not Monday. So we normally do this first thing in the morning. She just didn't want it this morning, so now we're gonna knock it out. Today is Tuesday. Mwah. lips. Yeah, my lips. Can you do, where's Tuesday? Yeah, I know, I have chapped lips. Where's Tuesday? Yep, there's Tuesday. All right, can you put Tuesday on the day? You can do it. Look at you, so smart. All right, today is the 13th. Can you find the one and then the three? Oh, I got a case buffet. It's winter. Puh, puh. <laughs> it's not cloudy. No? No. All right, so let's put, yep. Yeah, put all of this back and we can. Mommy. Mommy? Yep, one and a three. So today's the 13th. Mommy. It's March. What's the month? March. Um, March. It's Kate's birthday. Not yet, but Kate's birthday. Hold on, look. What is the year? The year is 2018. 2018. Good job. Now, what's the weather? You want to look outside and tell me what the weather is? It's not sunny. It's kind of sunny, yeah. Right? So you want to put sunny on for the weather? That's windy. That one's snowing. What is it doing right now? Is it sunny? Yes. All right, so let's get the sun up there on the weather. You want to put that next to weather? And that is... All right. And good. what's the season? Do you think it's still winter or is it spring? I think it's spring. Yeah, it's spring. Ah, uh, look at the it's spring. It is spring, so put spring next to the season. No, it looks like my birthday. Good 
job. It's my birthday. It's not your birthday. Your birthday's in November. Good job. It can be cake. So what is this? This is our today is? And this tells us all about what today is, says, huh? Kay's birthday and my birthday. No, that's not what it says. Kay's all right, let's go do our history lesson. Yeah. Yeah, so now we are going to do our history lesson. Normally, Alexa will color a coordinating um, coloring page for each lesson, but she's having a bit of a meltdown right now, so I don't know if she's going to be joining us, so we're going to do our history lesson today. Do you want to color now? We are done with our history lesson. The girls are gonna work on their history activity that goes with their history lesson today. It is now 9.30. We do have library today. Today's Tuesday, so we go to the libraries on Tuesday, and we leave for the library about 10, between 10 and 10.15. So we got about another half hour, and then we're gonna head out the door. Well, the girls got their um, history assignment done. They, they got a few minutes of a break. Um, they grabbed a snack, and now we are getting all of our stuff gathered up. <laughs> Alex is going there and turning off the lights. I'm sorry if you're seeing light changes. We are getting all of our books gathered up and getting ready to head to the library. Like I said, today is our library day. We go to the library for about an hour and a half or so in the morning, and so we are going to run to the library and go do our story time and the rest of the stuff we do at the library. So let's go to the library. We're at the library. Alexa's going to story time. <gasps> we'll go inside? You can get a movie. You want to go in there? Ready for story time? We had a good time at the library. We're getting ready to head back now. We're going to check out our books. We're done with our library and we're pretty much done with school. So now we're going to head back, get lunch. Alexa's got to take a nap and we'll go about our day. Well, a day in the life is all about reality. Here's reality. We're having meltdown in the back seat, but the only reason we're having a meltdown is because it's Mommy. coming up on nap time. Mommy. We're back at the house. Um, we're gonna run inside and do lunch. When we are, when we, uh, la, 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 la. when we think we are done with school, um, I always have the kids jump on the computer one last time to check our online planner and have them check off everything, make sure they have do have everything completed. So when we get in the house, I'm going to have them do that. They're going to get on the computer and check that, and then we're going to get lunch started. The big kids got to make their lunch still. Um, I'm not really sure what they're doing for lunch. We sometimes will do leftovers if we have leftovers, and um, then other times they just kind of do a sandwich like Alexa, so I'll have to see what we're going to do for lunch today. But, yep, we're just going to eat lunch. Alexa finished her lunch. Hope and Kaylin are still eating their lunch here. Sorry, I've got the light behind them, so I don't know if you can see them. They are still eating their lunch. They're almost done, though. Alexa is going to get a snack. What do you got? Candy. A fruit roll up? Okay. So Lex is going to get a snack and then we're going to do nap time. I can't bring you along for nap time though because she requires, I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. She requires the room to be completely dark in order to, in order to take a nap. So I can't get, I can't take you guys along for that. Once I get Alexa down for a nap, then I generally use her nap time to do a lot of my editing. If you guys don't already know, we have a daily vlog channel. And so I use nap time to do a lot of my editing. So once I get her laid down for a nap, then I'm going to jump into my editing. And then, um, and then dad gets home shortly after that. And then pretty much after that is when our daily vlog picks up. So um, no, no point of filming that since, you, um, since we filmed that for our daily vlog anyway. So if you guys want to see how our evenings go, you can head over to our daily vlog channel, Not So Tiny Tim's, and I will leave the link in the description below in this video. You guys can check that out to see how our evening went today. But that's pretty much it for um, how our homeschool day runs. The kids also do um, 
chemistry. You didn't see them do that today though because we are currently in the middle of a unit wrap up. So they're using this time to study. They're going to have a unit wrap up test here in a couple of days. So they're just using this time to study this week. That's why you didn't see us do an actual like science lesson. Um, and then we do not separate Bible. We do not do Bible study by itself at this moment. Next year we will be doing it. But right now we incorporate our Bible lessons into our history lessons because we're covering ancient history. So we're using a lot of the Bible to teach history right now. And so we do our Bible lessons are incorporated into our history lessons. So that's why you didn't see us do that separate either. Um, but other than that, this is a pretty normal Tuesday. Every day is a little bit different because we have different activities and different events and stuff that we do each day. And come so, on, come on, come on. And so our schedule's a little... Here, I'm letting you sit. Okay. Oh, no. And so our schedule... Um, you're going to get out of my lap if you can't sit still. I don't want to sit on this leg. I don't want you to sit on the other leg. So our schedule changes day to day. Every day is different. We have different events and activities every single day. So the schedule is obviously different from every day. But this is just how our normal Tuesday runs. Um, but thank you guys for joining us. I hope this gave you some good insight into how we run our home school. And if you have any questions, I please leave them. You. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to answer them for you. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you join us and follow along with us. And if you've not checked out my daily vlog channel, please check that out. And we'd love to have you over there as well. So thanks for joining, guys. Bye.